I just wanted to show what uh, I'm going to be creating right now, so or at least recreating and showing the, the process of it. So right now we're working on the body, and you can see here in the render that it gives off a really nice short hair look, uh, like almost like a short haired cat or an animal. Um, so I'm going to show you how I set that up and how to create a few variations of it as well. Um, so here we are. We're back at... Uh, the scene where we have all of our texture sets baked. We're all good with the ambient occlusion. Everything's good to go. Okay, uh, what I did here was I just created a folder with the base at the bottom with everything just completely default. And then I have a layer on top with fur. Um, and I'll show you exactly what's, what's in here in a moment. Okay. So first things first, we're going to create another fill layer, okay? We're going to call this one fur test, and we're going to shut everything off. So we don't need the color, we don't need the roughness, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need any of that, actually. We just need the height. And for this, I'm going to, in this slot here, I'm going to select directional scratches. Now, as you can see, when you first put it on it's not going to look very good it looks a little insane um, so first things first we're going to go up and instead of uv projection for this map we're going to use a triplanar okay uh, you might have to play around with some of these settings so sometimes you know uv will work well sometimes spherical would work well uh, and then other times it's a uh, triplanar so you will most likely have to experiment on when you're putting in maps and, and height maps and different things like that to uh, mess with the settings on your own. Uh, but this is just a basic idea of how to set it up. So initially it's not looking so good. So I'm just going to look at my other folder for some settings here. Okay, so 6.33 and 82. Okay. So let's go back to our fur test. Uh, I think it was six, six, three, three. Okay, so now we're getting it smaller. And eighty two fourteen. So now you can see it's starting to look better, but it's still far too thick or uh, messy looking, I guess. So the way to adjust the, um, I guess the strength of your height maps is you go up here to your layers, go to height. Now we're in the height and find your layer that you're using the height map on and then just crank this down. Until it looks good. Uh, I'm thinking around there is looking pretty good. Cool. Okay, so this is essentially the hair that I'm going to be baking into the mesh. Okay, um, I'm just going to switch over to the one I had already created. Uh, this has a little bit of a blue color, that's the only difference. And at this point, I th think let's see here. Okay. So we don't want to have hair on all of the pieces, as you can see here, her tummy. And the hands and feet have a bit of a gradient that has the hair kind of like not fully on those areas, but they kind of fade off, right? So we don't want to bake all the hairs on the parts that there's not going to be any hair. So at this point, we're going to go in and remove some of that with a mask. So we can actually just put it right on top of this guy here. Instead of a black mask, I want to add a white mask because most of this is going to be the hair. And then I can change my grayscale to black, which is going to erase from my scene here. I'm going to put on symmetry 
and we're going to get rid of the tummy area. I'm just going to keep this quick for example purposes. Get rid of the hair on the hand. Okay. Good. And then uh, we're going to get rid of some on the feet here too. Okay, so this is pretty much what it's gonna look like with your new bakes in, but it's going to help out a lot with your generators while you're doing a bunch of different um, texturing, layering, and, and edits. So at this point, this should be good to go for your bake. So let me walk you through that. Now, this is a little different than your initial bakes, so Let's bake this out and reattach it. I'll show you how to do that. So when you're happy with the way the hair looks and the way you want to bake this out, uh, what you're going to want to do is just export the textures as... We're going to do Unreal 4. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I have one set up so that the naming stays um, a certain way. That's fine. Okay, so here we're going to just jump into the training files, make a new folder called textures. And we're going to call this normal map bakes. Okay, so let's go here, make a new folder body one. Go inside that and select that as the folder. Now, this is going to export um, all the Unreal 4 maps. And after that's done, I'm going to bring them back in and I'll show you where to, to plug them in and what the results will look like and how they will help with generators and etc. So here, oh, I have exported again. No problem. Okay. So now that they're exported, I want to go into that file. Um, training. Okay. So it looks like it put out three maps. You only need the normal map, so you can delete the other two. And now this is going to be the new normal map that you plug in before you start your final texture for the character. So let's call this underscore edit. Okay, and close that down. Now, like I said, you would have two files. Um, the files are large enough for me to, like you can see my, my disk space is a little high right now. So I'm not going to be saving the files, but I'm going to let you know how it would work. So this one here would be your bake file. So I would save this one as, um, let's say, uh, let's go Mogwai body 01. bake file okay um, I would save it like that and then have this as the bake file I just exported the things um, I would after I have this saved I would just save it again from right at this exact same spot file save as and then I would name it just the regular texture file instead of bake file it would just be mog01 body texture file so now I have the two I would go into texture file, uh, the, the one that's not the bake file. I would have everything here off. Okay, so this is essentially the exact file we would be in if it was uh, just like the fresh baked normals, right? So the way to do this is go to file, import resources, we're going to add a resource, which is the texture, the baked fur texture, right? Okay, excellent. So we have that, and that is going to be a texture 
we're going to import that into the current project that we're in. Boom. Okay. So here it is here. It's highlighted. This is the map that we just brought in. And remember, this is the area where we baked all of our maps, right? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to replace all these maps and we're going to force it to use this new edited normal map with the height value of all the hair as our master normal map for our texture. So now we're going to go in and we're just going to get rid of all these. Okay, the normal map is still there from before, the original one, and now we're going to plug in this new one. Okay, so now you can see that it has all of the fur that we did in the other bake scene in a new fresh scene. Okay, so now we're going to actually use this, uh, and you can see also that it's there's no hair on the hands, the feet, the tummy, that's exactly what we want. Okay, so now that we have the edited normal map plugged in to the normal map section here for where we bake our textures, we're going to go in and because we already have the edited normal map in the normal section, uh, all the other sections can stay uh, default. Uh, just the way they are, it, it will be perfectly fine because by default it's going to pull from whatever's in the normal map anyways. So. Um, just make sure your, your settings are all good uh, on this common one, 4096, dilation, and um, everything else is just default, so it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and bake everything here except for the ID and normal, and this is all going to pull from the normal map, and um, just for time purposes, I'm going to pause the video now and be right back. Okay, so here we are back after after baking all of our new maps, and you can see here that uh, a lot of the maps are working better together now. You're getting a more rich looking uh, fur because the ambient occlusion and all the other maps are working well together. So at this point, uh, you're ready with all your maps baked. You're ready to start doing your final texture pass.